Hi everyone, Gina Craft District Instructional Technology Coach. Um, I wanted to show you how you could use um, Google Meet um, kind of in coordinates with Schoology. I've had a lot of people reach out to me and ask me about using this potentially for meeting with students or for collaborating with peers, you know, content area teachers, grade level teachers. Um, so I just wanted to show you how you could use this um, in Schoology, integrate it really easily um, just to help you throughout this, you know, weird time um, where we're able to still collaborate and kind of remove just the physical barriers. So Google Meet essentially is just going to be a way to kind of like video chat um, or call in um, so that you can see screens and you can see people so you're still able to collaborate. So I am in a school G course and so I'm just going to add material and I'm going to add a discussion. So maybe if I was talking with my students I'd say hey I'm going to be available from this time to this time need help I'm going to be available Monday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, comment what time you would like to chat so I'm just gonna have this here and then I'm going to actually paste in a meet code so in order to get there I'm gonna go to my waffle, I already have my calendar up, so I'm just gonna go from here, and I'm gonna go down over here to Google Meet. Now it takes you to like this launch page. I'm just going to join or start a meeting. I'm just gonna hit continue because I don't I don't have a nickname for what I want. And this is gonna take me to my meet page. So now you can see here you are, um, and then it has all of this other stuff over here on the right hand side. Right under here where it says meeting ready, this is your URL to your meet. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that in here so students will now have access to this code. Um, and I'm also going to do this just in case maybe they for some reason won't have access to the Wi-Fi so they could dial in instead. So I'm gonna include that as well. And so now whenever I create this discussion post, um, my students can see, hey, you know, Mrs. Craft is going to be offering help on Monday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then they can comment um, what time they want to chat. Now when it is time for them to chat, all they have to do is copy and paste this meet code. And so then this is going to again, it brings them right to this video. So that's a nice way of having kind of a track record of like the students that are contacting you but also gives you specific times so um, if you have a conflict or if you might have you know a couple kids where they might have similar questions you could also have them comment maybe what they need help with so you could then maybe group your students so you could have you know three students that are having the same conflict they could all do a meet together with you and so then you're kind of you're meeting with all of them and knocking out all of those questions at once, then they can also collaborate and they know who else has questions in their class, those specific questions. So then they could also reach out to each other if they needed additional support. So this is one way of using Google Meet with Schoology. Um, it's really simple, really easy, um, and just a good way to continue to connect with our peers and with our students.